three, two, one. What, what up, up Hyper Change? Welcome to another episode. We're out here in Berlin. We're about to go to the brand new Tesla factory that is getting ready to open. We got GigaFest today. We're gonna learn all about it, get a tour, bring y'all along with us to learn how Tesla is about to bring the green revolution to Europe. Let's roll. We made it in amazing vibes. We got um, Tesla rain train tickets. Delivery starting next month, or production starting next month here. All these Model Ys are from Shanghai that we're seeing uh, test drive. Pipes building, we're going in. I mean, the fact that they've opened this up to the public is so epic. Um, everyone here is like German. I can't believe, I, I think we're gonna get a film. This is gonna be insane. I mean, the vibes, the second you step into the Tesla factory, always just... Oh, there's some English. Huh? Dude, it's a two kilometer tour that lasts an hour and a half. This is gonna be insane. This is like, this is better than like the Fremont tour. Walking tour, dude. Straight up walking tour. Always remember the mission. Always remember it. The robots. This is looking like a big attraction. We're coming up to the big robots. Oh my god. What's it doing? Looks like they're just kind of flexing and dancing. Robots don't look like they're actually working, like they don't have the parts, they're just kind of doing the dances, but this is unbelievable access. Like, like ev this is like the best marketing ever. Like, everyone looks so hyped. Like, I don't know. They got all these cool stats on the wall. I believe they've only been building the factory for like a year, so this is crazy. Local, going local with it. Um, wow, I mean, it's, the vibe in here is just epic. Hey, Bone, what do you think? What, what, what's what's your first impression here? It's so cool. It's huge. This it's place is huge. massive, and it's like bright. It's like just got like I would think working here would be and insane, insanely epic. About forty minutes outside of Berlin, like and ooh, look at this robot. Hears. We can take selfies with the robot.
is the casting process, the entire underbody of the car created one piece. I hope they're gonna see that later. But look at, this is the parts that were just stamped, I believe. Check this out. It's hovering. And then look at this. I mean, getting ready for production in a month. Looks like they're making, looks like they're gonna be Looks like they're already started, honestly. <laughs> Tesla iterates on each factory they build. So it's incredible to see, you know, Fremont, their first factory that they took over was abandoned by GM and Toyota. And um, they basically had to like, re you know, put this machine here. Like the building was already set up. This is designed from scratch by Tesla. So to see the way it's laid out and to see how they've innovated on the entire way the factory's arranged and the whole process and the whole flow, epic. Um, and I think it's gonna make it a way more, like just you can see how organized everything is. That's such a cool view. This is all the stuff that they stamp. Yeah. These ones not looking quite as crispy, honestly. This is so epic. They have animals on all the... They give them nicknames. Wow, this guy's like moving the entire body of the car. This is insane. Oh my god. Big heavy lift in that one. This is actually really cool because there's supposed to be a custom uh, paint shop. So Berlin is gonna be getting a brand new custom state-of-the-art paint shop built by Tesla. Now we're about to check it out. This has been talked about by Elon. This is gonna be epic. Oh, this is like the first layer paint? First layer? Is that what we're looking at? It looks like white, maybe? I'm not sure if you can see getting for gain vibes outside the paint shop. <laughs> Dude, this is gonna be it, this is gonna be epic, I can already tell. Film you. Wow, so building. 
big expansion in the works here. Day two car parts a day. 23 times around the world. This is very underestimated for our, an important part of the factory. This is apparently a big innovation, the Giga Cast for Giga Berlin, the G just on the car you drive, but on the way they actually build that car, which saves them cost, which makes it a stronger car, which makes it simpler, which saves them time, like pace of innovation. Tesla's advantage, as Elon says, in manufacturing technology, we're seeing it firsthand here at Giga Berlin. Like, say hi, I love your videos. Oh, awesome, yeah. thank you. The cannonball in Europe, uh, you know, from, uh, from uh, Cape San Anson to Cape North in three days. Oh, nice, and, uh, this thing is intense. Very steep. Nice you. Bye -bye. Yeah, great to meet you. So fun fact, Tesla is like the most comfy seats in the world. They make them in-house and they're super good for your back. They're awesome for road trips. Check them out. and this one, video game. cells per day. The capacity of our 4680 cell is five times higher than conventional battery cells. The 4680 we're here about, look, about to look, wow, I mean, this is, I did not expect to see this part of the tour. This is epic, dude. Anode copper roll right here. You can see 
where the magnets are sitting inside the router, right? If you now put it on the side here, you can see where they are. Uh, you look at the top here, you see them? Uh -huh. They sit like this. Right? Yeah, you can see them inside. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So cool. Easter egg alert, we found it. This is where the Crimson Model Y is with the epic new paint job. We're in the paint shop. They left it half uncovered right there. You can try and see it. We're gonna show you zoom footage on my iPhone right now. But this is the epic new paint shop, all state of the art with this incredibly new color. Even from here, you can tell how shiny and swag it is. And they left it half, I mean, it's so cool. They left it half covered. Yeah, different. So this, this one, uh, this is the uh, AK, right? used in the Model S Model X. This one is used in the Model 3, Model Y. Okay. And this is down here. The paper shows you, right? Uh, the paper shows you... Where the magnets of, are? Yeah, so it kind of shows you like a distribution of the magnetic field. They're more to kind of show the magnetic field's influence on a magnetic object. Yeah. <laughs>